Only time will tell whether the three women members of parliament will remain after next year's national election. Various measures have been undertaken to empower women along party lines, such as reforms by the Registry of Political Parties for a women's quota. This means all parties should have a fair representation of women candidates as to their male counterparts. Bradley Gregory with this report. A workshop was held over the past two days to empower women and strengthen political parties. The organizers were the United Nations, New Zealand Aid and the Labour Party of Australia. Various women intending candidates were in attendance with the political parties. What we've been doing is that we've been talking about the experiences or now we can strengthen political parties by, by making sure that they should start taking on board issues dealing with women. Uh, and one of those biggest issues is, uh, is empowering women. So you'll find in the, uh, in the workshop yesterday and today, the discussion is all about uh, making sure that constitution or political parties do have some things in there to say about how they would go about in uh, helping the cause of women in Papua New Guinea. The various parties who were present at the workshop said the experience was different in PNG, the experience of women representation and selection vary from one province to another. Currently, there are three women leaders in parliament. The first time three women have ever been voted in of any successful parliament. The true test to the country's loyalty to women leaders will come next year. Will they remain or will there be more women entering parliament? Only time will tell. Quota of 10% is a very small quota. So it is all up to the political parties. If they want to go up more than 10%, then that's all up to them. But 10% is the benchmark. It is the one that we are saying that when you end those candidates, 10% of those end those candidates must be women candidates. So that is what we are saying in the quota that we've uh, included in the revised organic law. Bradley Gregory, NBC National News, Port Mosby.